the Noctua NH-L9X65 has been on the market for a few years, and now we finally have the NH-L9X65 Chromas Black Edition, the same small factor CPU cooler but looking way better in all black. This video is brought to you by Anchor and their new Nano series. This new portable charger series includes power banks, universal chargers for wireless earbuds and charging stations, just to name a few. The entire series is centered around a minimalistic design with plenty of color options and a wide compatibility for devices, both Android and Apple. And now, they are running a 40% Christmas sale on select products. This sale not only includes the actual sale of products, but additional festive packaging to gift your loved ones something new this year. Included in this Christmas sale, we have the new Nano series as well as existing products, such as power banks, charging cables, wireless charging stations, and desktop multiport chargers, just to name a few. Click the link in the description below to find out more. The NH-L9X65 Comas Black is the long-awaited all-black variant of the NH-L9X65 CPU cooler, a top-floor air CPU cooler that was designed to be used in small form-factor systems and on mini IDX motherboards. What made this CPU cooler so good was the usage of four nickel-plated copper heat pipes, a solid copper base plate, and a thick heatsink with a 92mm fan. And now we have this CPU cooler in a lovely all-black variant, however, this will cost you. The regular NH-L9X65 is priced at around 60 US dollars, while the NH-L9X65 Scrumaz Black Edition can be bought for 70 US dollars. That's a 10 US dollars price increase just because it's a different color. However, that's not unusual. In fact, this has been the case for Noctua Chromas Black products for a while now. Most of them, if not all of them, had a 10 dollar price increase just because they are a different color. Well. I gotta love the consistency that Noctua has with these products, inflation be damned. The NH-L9X65 is one of the few small 4-factor CPU coolers that is optimized for higher than average TDP CPUs, well, sort of. That's mostly thanks to the way the heatsink is designed, taller and square and thus it can fit on a mini ITX motherboard but is a bit on the taller side when compared to other CPU coolers that might fit this criteria of mini ITX systems. Speaking of form factors and small form factor CPU coolers, the NH-L9X65 has a height of just 65mm with a width and length of 95mm and a weight of 413 grams. The heatsink is made entirely out of aluminum and has copper on its heat pipes and base plate. The cooler has a total of 49 aluminum made cooling fins which are used to dissipate the heat of the CPU. These fins have a solid build and will not bend with ease, also you will not get injured by them as their edges have been sanded smooth. The four heat pipes used on this CPU cooler are made from nickel plated copper and are painted in the same matte black finish as the rest of the Chromas Black lineup. Each heat pipe has an outer diameter of 6mm and are arranged in a circle shape around the heatsink to better move the heat away from the CPU area. The base plate is a solid piece of nickel plated copper. The heat pipes are making contact with the base plate at the back. This way, optimal contact and thermal transfers are ensured as well as the best possible contact between the CPU cooler and the CPU surface. When we talk about the active cooling, or in other words, the fan, the Chromas Black variant of the NH-L9X65 has the same 92mm fan, the Noctua NF-A9X14PWM, only that this one is the Chromas Black variant. In terms of the specifications, this fan has a minimum speed of 500 RPM and a maximum speed of 2200 RPM. Fortunately, the usage of a 4-pin connector and PWM functionality means that the speed of the fan can be controlled through your motherboard or a fan hub. In terms of accessories, you get what you'd expect from Noctua, a user manual, a tube of thermal compound, mounting brackets for both Intel and AMD platforms, a backplate, metal studs, plastic C-clips, a Philips screwdriver, a Noctua case badge, a low noise adapter and plenty of plastic spacers, and brackets for AMD and Intel platforms. The installation procedure with this cooler cannot be easier, as it's a small cooler and, well, the mounting system does not need to be complicated. First, you get the backplate and insert the metal studs in the correct spaces for your sockets. Check the user manual to figure out what stud orientation is the correct one for your system. Then you secure the metal studs onto the motherboard with the plastic C-clips. It's a simple system that works, but don't use excessive force when installing these clips because they are made out of plastic after all. 
Moving on, you place the backplate at the back of the motherboard, then at the front of the CPU socket, you install the correct plastic spaces for your socket. Again, check your user manual to know which one fits for you. With those installed, place the mounting brackets in the desired orientation and secure them with the included thumb screws. Finally, apply the thermal compound on the CPU surface and place the CPU cooler over the mounting bars, lining up the spring-loaded screws with the threaded ends of the bars. And that's it. All that is left for you to do now is to install the fan onto the heatsink and connect it to your motherboard or fan hub and you are pretty much done. In general, this CPU cooler shouldn't take you more than 3 minutes to install from start to finish. It's that easy to install. With the CPU cooler installed, we get to see just how good it looks with the Chromas Black treatment. Not only that, but let's look at the clearance. With this cooler, you can install whatever RAM kit you want and your graphics card has a lot of breathing room too. Before we test the cooling performance of the NH-L9X65, you will get to hear a noise sample of this CPU cooler with its 92mm fan going from a dead stop to its maximum speed of 2200 RPM. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparison, it does not highlight other noise sources, such as bearing ticking, fan vibrations and more. With a single 92mm fan installed on the heatsink and with a maximum speed of 2200 RPM, the NH-L9X65 Chromas Black has a maximum noise output of 36 decibels, exactly the same result as the regular NH-L9X65. I mean, it was to be expected as these coolers are basically identical and the fan is the same, just the color is different. Of course, this CPU cooler was never intended for overclocking and especially for overclocking high TDP CPUs. But in this review, I will try to push it over its limits and use an Intel i7-13700K CPU. And of course, try to undervolt it and see the results. And of course, this little CPU cooler had no chance in the first place. The i7-13700K CPU has a tendency of getting hot even at its factory boost frequency. And even with these factory settings, the CPU went over 98 degrees Celsius, which resulted in thermal throttling. I mean, what did we expect really? This CPU cooler is small and not really made for such a big CPU, especially one that is notoriously running hot. However, this review is not made to trash the Noctua cooler and we've been testing this cooler using the AIDA64 Extreme System Stability Test, which is a hard thing to do on a CPU. However, what about gaming and with the i7-13700K CPU Limited? Well, here things are looking a bit better overall as the CPU is limited to a power draw of 90 watts and under these conditions the NH-L9X65 Chromas Black looks like it's doing a good job, especially when compared to other CPU coolers and in this case the NH-L9X65 Chromas Black reached a maximum temperature of 71 degrees Celsius with the ambient temperature set at 26 degrees Celsius. The CPU coolers we are using to compare the Noctua are the Scythe Shuriken 2 and the ID Cooling IS 60 EVO. Looking at the results, the NH-L9X65 Chromas Black is a good performing CPU cooler if you use a bit of common sense when you choose your CPU. The reality is that we cannot expect these small CPU coolers to perform well with these massive CPUs, especially one that has an unlocked multiplier and has a high TDP. And limiting an i7 13 gen CPU to 90 watts of power is pretty much defeating the purpose of having such a CPU in the first place, but for our test and review it makes sense. The NH-L9X65 Chromas Black is a good upgrade in terms of looks over the regular variant. Now the question will remain as always, if the 10 US dollar price bump just for the color change is justified and the only one you can answer that is yourself. If you like this review then you might consider subscribing for more and if you want to support me in a direct way then in the description below you'll find the links for both the Patreon and the Star pages of this channel.